oh, excellent. You know, all I can say is it's probably the most fun you can get for your buck. You know, the least expensive and, and a really premium racing class for not very much money. Well, Dewey, the thing about it is that they're all the same. Everything under the skin's exactly the same. You can have a Mustang, a Camaro, or a Dodge Challenger, but underneath they're all the same, they're exactly the same power. Everything's sealed, everything's fair. The only thing you change really is the diff ratio and your spring settings to suit the drivers, your shocks, tyre pressures, all those sorts of things, your brake bias. But all in all, it's a very competitive and, and very cost-effective uh, formula. Hey, well, what, firstly, once you see the cars on track, I think that sets you uh, at ease straight away. The sound they make, um, the speed, I mean, the value for money, the speed that these cars do, um, there's nothing else for this sort of price will we'll do that sort of, give you that sort of drive. That's right. I mean, you should get, you know, th three seasons out of an engine without having to touch it. Um, I mean, tyres, we only two tyres per round. Uh, gearboxes you last two or three seasons as well. And then once they get to that point, you do need maintenance. Again, then it's low cost to maintain, you know, to do a refresh on a motor or anything like that. So it's all controlled. The diffs have been proven on Speedway for years with a quick change rear end in them. You know, Penske shocks, all the good things. Uh, the clutches in them, everything's really tough. I, we haven't had to replace any of those bits of equipment in the car for the last 18 months. Oh, gee, I think it would be a great grounding for someone to come out of go-karting or Formula Ford into one of these to get an aspect of the size of the cars because they're, you know, they're quite big. They're as big as a supercar, no doubt. Uh, you know, and they've got a cage similar to the super car, but they haven't got quite the horsepower and they're a bit simpler to drive because they only have a four-speed H-Batten gearbox. So it teaches the basics to driving as you're stepping through the categories up to the main game. Look, I think it's going to be, um, I think it'll be successful. Um, I think Australians love their V8s. Uh, they love to see the flames coming out the exhaust. Um, nice, close racing. Uh, look, and I think with Mustang in Australia now, Camaro coming out, um, yeah, I think it'll fit right in. I think it'll become a major class, that's my opinion. Maybe I'm biased, and, and but I've been around a long time and seen lots of racing. I was involved in the V8 Utes, you know, that, that sort of ran its course because the manufacturers gave out on it, but I think this is a, the next thing up from there. They're a bit faster than a Ute, quite a bit faster actually, uh, and they're a lot more durable. So yeah, I can see them being a national class eventually. I think they're a great bunch of people that are involved with it and, and come along and join us, it's heaps of fun.